Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Today I'm going to be doing some coloring. Um, so I won't be making a card with this, but I will just be doing, um, showing you how I color this image. Uh, this image is from Whimsy Stamps, uh, and her name is Angelica. I bought the digital version, so I printed it out on uh, Nina Solar white cardstock. And here, uh, for the skin, I'm using Copics. I'm using um, E50, E53, and E55. And then I'm going to be using my Shin Hun Touch for the rest of the coloring. Um, I haven't been feeling too well, so I've been um, kind of um, in my room. So I'm doing this um, coloring tutorial from my room so again I'm using the uh, Shin Hand Touch because it's um, easy to um, just grab the bag and come so um, for the hair I'm using um, a chocolate BR92 and natural oak BR91 and terracotta YR21 um, for this, it's not like the numbering is not like Copics, um, and you can uh, basically just um, kind of blend it. Um, look, but just by looking at the color, you can kind of tell um, the color. Um, so, and it blends really well. This is a very uh, juicy marker. So I always like to start with my darkest first and um and then my medium and then my light and then i go over it again uh giving more highlights uh, with my dark and then medium and light and now I'll, I'll repeat that step to achieve the color that i want so for these complicated images um to, which are like super cute um i have a hard time um doing the coloring video and um, make a card because that'll be I think too long um, so let me um, so let me know um, if you guys like me to um, do the coloring with the making of the card or if you like this um, kind of like a separate coloring tutorials as well because I love these intricate images and I love coloring them but I don't use them that often because um, they are very intricate and time consuming to um, do the coloring. So um, I like to just sit there and relax and color. So for the um, squirrel, I think it's a squirrel. I was trying to figure out if it was. Um, and I'm using um, chestnut brown, chocolate, and natural oak again and um, I'm using for the cheeks I'm using blush and I put um, some blush in the in inner part of the ear and um, the belly but I go over that um, with uh, sand it's kind of like a little bit of like a flesh tone looking I love these uh, whimsy stamps. Um, they're super cute, and I especially love um, the Sylvia Zetts um, collection, which this is from the. Um, she's an illustrator. So for the wings, I'm using a warm gray one and the colorless blender just to give a little bit uh, depth. And here I'm coloring in her jacket and I'm doing the tip to tip um, method that's when you have uh, uh, a lot of contrast between the dark color and the light and you don't have that medium color you can just touch the tip to make the medium color so which is um, good here again I'm using uh, the warm gray for the top of her socks but um I end up changing it later on so for the bird I'm using two yellows um, it's just yellow and lemon yellow so one a little bit deeper and one a little bit lighter and then here I uh, decided to color her shirt um, 
red and I wasn't thinking and I just grabbed the red and so it was like it didn't kind of match with the blue uh, sweater so I had to make her leggings uh, red uh, striped I colored in that portion as well sorry I'm not in frame um, I apologize um, but I'll realize that I'm not in frame in a little while and put it back up so I'm also adding some green um, only because I added that dark uh, red with her light blue sweater so it kind of didn't match so I had to kind of um, uh, make it I guess uh, more Christmassy now so I just put the green um, for her mittens as well as the um, uh, leggings and the top of her socks so so this one was kind of like a weird combination of color I don't know what I was thinking but here I'm using the warm gray um, one along with the um, pale blue pale baby blue um, to make it kind of um, like a bluish gray I guess and then I put that yellow feather and I just color the top of the uh, squirrel's hat yellow. And here I'm just laying down, this is um, warm gray one. And I'm just going all around the image um, to kind of give a um, little bit of um, depth and a kind of a glow. So I put in like the extra details um, on these colored images because I have like a whole box of them that I just put over there in um, all my colored um, images. And then when I'm ready to make a card, that's when I put in all the details. So it's something uh, fun to just sit there and color and put it aside. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks.